there. In this video, we're going to be looking at three fullest tools. The resources tool, the lecture videos tool, and the lessons tool. We'll start with the resources tool. The resources tool is where your lecturers will store any kinds of images, lecture slides, readings, or other resources that they want you to view, watch, or listen to. For example, here we can see in the module one subfolder, the lecturer has uploaded a number of readings. Other than readings, you might also find things like lecture slides or any kind of images they want you to view. You can think of the resources tool as a fold structure inside Vula. The second tool we'll be looking at is the lecture videos tool. The lecture videos tool is the primary place that lecturers will use to upload video content. Under the recordings tab, you will see a list of all the different lecture videos that your lecturers have recorded. Over here, for example, we have a welcome video. In the video player, you will be able to see the standard range of player functions, for instance, playing, changing the volume. And if you scroll down, there are two separate areas, a transcripts tab, if your lecturer has uploaded a text transcript for the video, and a downloads tab, where you can download the video at various different levels of quality. For instance, high quality, or medium quality, or audio only. This can be very useful in offline viewing if you have trouble with connectivity. Finally, we will look at the lessons tool. The lessons tool is a place which combines all the other tools in Vula into a learning pathway. A learning pathway links various kinds of learning activities, for example, watching a video, reading a reading, viewing lecture slides, etc., with the other kinds of learning activities, such as completing a tutorial or a quiz or posting in a forum. In this lessons page, we can see a number of different text blocks that tell us how we should navigate the content. Over here, we have key information about when the module runs, how long it should take us to complete, the key reading, and whether or not there is an assignment. Over here, we have the key activities that we should complete to complete the lesson, watching the video, reading a resource, posting in a forum, and completing a quiz. And here we have the various kinds of content. So here is our video that we need to watch. Here are the readings that we need to read. Here is the quiz that we need to complete. And over here is where we can contact our lecturers for more information. We end with a checklist over here, which is a self-check exercise that you can use to tick off your activities as you've completed them.